Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to another episode of my River Guide French edition for Corsica. The Tavignano is one of Corsica's large rivers. Today we'll look at the section from Ponte Altiani to Camping Ernella. The Tavignano gets robbed of its water early on above Corsica's old capital Corte, which is led into the reservoir of Calacuccia. Therefore, it most often has enough water after the confluence with the Vecchio. The standard put-in is at Ponte Altiani, where an old road bridge crosses over, which was in use still recently. The easiest access is from the right side. For the most part, the river flows through an open valley with gravel or rocky shores. I would classify it as a white water 2 to 3, as there are many rapids that may be short, but definitely class 3. Soon after the start, you get a first taste of this. About one kilometer below the bridge, at the end of a right bend, a rock sits in the river that forms a drop on the left at moderate water levels. Passage on the right is not clear either, but at higher levels preferable. The Tavignano then flows mostly straight eastwards with some slight bends. For this section, good water levels are above 1,40 m. While there is probably an upper limit, I do not know it as it can take quite a bit of water. At about halfway down, you pass a gravel bank on the right side, which is actually a dry creek. On the outer left side of the following bend is an option for early put out or put in to combine with the following section. This is generally known as Olive Grove, which is just about the large parking bay. The Tavignano then curves around the camping Sorti Piani. On its exit, the most difficult meters are waiting. The water flows down between the rock wall and the gravel bank with some boulders in the middle that you pass on the right. It ends in a sharp right turn that often has debris hanging on the outer rock. This first part can easily be portaged on the right. The next cataract not so. At a fallen in bridge and mill the water is pressed through a narrow gap. At low level this can be run down the middle, at higher flows an approach from the right might be preferable. Then you reach the Ponte de Piedigorte, which has its access from the road cleaned out. So this is another place to end the trip. What follows is some more rapids through a left and then a right curve before reaching the still water at Camping Arnella. This camping is usually a hot spot to meet other kayakers. If you park your cars outside the camping at the roadside, you may be allowed to pass through the camping ground. If you still have not had enough, you can proceed with the following canyon. You can find additional information down in the description. If you found this guide helpful, please consider leaving a like and if you don't want to miss the next video, hit the subscribe button. Until then, goodbye!